A uh, couple of other quick things that I'm going to show you is just putting in some articulations real quick here. And let's say we want to slur. We want to slur this note to this note. All you have to do is hit S. Highlight the note once, S, and there's a slur. Let's say here we want to slur again. All right, and then these notes we want to be staccato. Well, there's the staccato, but it's also the backslash key on your keypad. All right, and you can do that. Slur those two. Maybe these are staccato. And maybe what we want this one accented. All right, and so when I play these, you'll actually hear those articulations and that makes a huge difference in how the music should sound. And, and I want you guys to start using some articulations like that. Here's another one and let's take this. I wanna slur the first three notes here. So I hit the S, I type on the letter, you know, just tap on, or not the letter, but on the note, I tap on it once, hit S, and it goes over the next note, right? But while that is still highlighted and before you've clicked somewhere else, hit the space bar and you can extend that out. All right, now I'm gonna erase that. I don't want it that far. Oh, sorry about that. Make sure you've highlighted that and then hit delete. So we'll highlight that note once, hit S, hit space bar once, and I draw it out just like that. So S for slur, space bar for extended as long as it's still highlighted. I'm gonna put a staccato there. And let's do the long tenuto there, which is this one here, and that would be your the asterisk on your keypad. And then, so if you listen to this one. And again, we get nice articulations there. So that's a great way to do it. Another thing uh, that you want to know about, let me, uh, ties and slurs are different. And I know you guys know this, but sometimes people don't know how to do it in Sibelius. Let's just say here in the trombone part, this C was really a B flat. So I'll just arrow down. You can click on a note and arrow up or arrow down to change the note. And let's say that's but really a B flat. And I want that to tie over to this. We don't, a lot of people accidentally hit the S. But if you hit the S, here's what you're going to hear. You notice that you heard the attack here. But if the note was truly tied, you should only hear the attack here and not here. And that's because you used a slur here and you shouldn't. So you want to highlight that and erase it. Uh, a tie is different from a slur. This is a tie here and it's the enter key on the keypad, not the return key on the keyboard, but the enter key on the keypad. And if you hit enter, it'll tie it over and it looks sort of the same as with the slur, but listen to it. Another thing that I'm going to show you is, let's say at the end of this one, you wanted it to slow down. A great way for it to slow down, we can highlight, maybe it's in the uh, last two measures we want it to slow down. So let's highlight the last two measures, then I'm going to hit the L key for line. And the reason we bring up a line tool is because there are different things that we classify under lines. Pedals, retardandos, accelerandos, trills, so forth. So we're going to pull up this retardando right here and I'm going to click that and it's going to put it in above the staff the way it should here and then watch what happens when I play this.
and there you go. Just like that, we've got the retard uh, happening. Another thing we can do is we can do trills. Maybe um, with the trumpet, let's just change this note value. I'm going to erase this slur, so I'm going to highlight it and erase it. And if you want to change a note value, just click on one note, and let's say I want that to be a half note. Click a five on the keypad, right? And that turns it into a half note, and it gets rid of the other notes and resets the measure, and which is a great feature. And let's say it's a high F sharp here, all right? So, and on that, I want a trill. I can click that note, Again, type the L key, hit trill, and then these notes, I want to bring them up the octave. So I'm going to highlight that note, hold down the Apple key, and arrow up. And then let's bring it down to E natural there. Arrow over to the next note, hold down the Apple key, bring it up. All right. And now let's play it from here. Now, obviously not a great sounding trumpet trill, but it gives you the idea of how that's going to sound. You do that with flutes as well. So there's